Well, this week will culminate with Vice President Kamala Harris formally accepting her party's nomination for president. But tonight, the stage will be turned over to her current boss. From above, the United Center in Chicago looms large for Democrats this week. This stage will mark a critical introduction for a still new nominee. The Vice President Kamala Harris arrived in Chicago yesterday to prepare for what is essentially a coronation after already securing the Democratic nomination. And President Biden, meantime, prepares for his own turn on the big stage tonight at a convention that he at one point hoped would mark his path to a second term before he dropped out of the race. How you feeling about your speech tomorrow, sir? Good, good, good. Biden's speech tonight will be followed by other top names in the party through the week in what Democrats see as a show of unity. But outside the convention, there are already protests fueled by anger over the administration's support of Israel, and organizers promise a large contingent in the days ahead. We've got buses coming from Minnesota, we've got buses coming from New Mexico, we've got them from Indiana, from Michigan, from Wisconsin, from Ohio. Harris and her running mate have spent much of their time in recent days in Pennsylvania, and based on the real clear politics average of polls, it may all come down to that state. That leaves the race at 257 electoral votes for Trump, 262 for Harris, and the decision to be made in the state that is tied, Pennsylvania, with 19 electoral votes. And with that in mind, former President Trump today will be responding to the DNC campaigning in Pennsylvania with additional stops this week in other key states, Michigan, North Carolina, Arizona, and Nevada. In Washington, Doug Luzader, Fox News.